One big thing that I tell everybody, you know, coming into the program is that, look, there is no moral content to your failures. You know, good and bad are not words that we use judging ourselves in this process. You're trying to get feedback from the market, from your clients, from ourselves. We're trying to get feedback. And all of this feedback that we're getting is amoral, right? There is, it's not going to make you a bad person if you fail. It's not going to make you a bad person if you accidentally ask for too much in terms of pricing on a strategy session. It doesn't make you a bad person when you reach out to somebody to try to get an appointment and then they get kind of frustrated. You're not a bad person, okay? All of this is amoral activity. You're not doing anything wrong. Not one single thing we do here is a failure. It's not wrong. It can't be considered bad. In fact, the first time we do anything throughout this entire program, it's very likely that you will fail. So I just wanna say this up front to make sure that you're not taking these as sort of personal attacks. You know, if you have a failure, if you have a challenge or a struggle going through the program, that's normal. Hey, that means you're getting shit done. You know, you're actually doing some work. The reality of it is when you talk to enough people, someone's gonna be perturbed and that's just the way it is. That's totally okay. But remember that what you're doing, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. So don't take it as a personal hit to you and to your ego. Just see it for what it is. It's amoral feedback and it's something to learn from as we're going through the process.